Our presentation is case report entitled as a case of neurofibromatosis type 1 with a metatarsal bone lesion. This is my biography. Now I work at Numakuma Hospital in Hiroshima Prefecture. She is nothing. Introduction. Neurofibromatosis type 1 is known as a complex autosomal dominant disorder caused by mutations in the NF1 tumor suppressor gene. We experienced an intriguing case of NF1 with a bone lesion caused by adjacent neurofibroma. As to skeletal region of NF1, scoliosis and congenital bone dysplasia are famous. Recently, skeletal region is classified into two groups. One is associated with adjacent neurofibroma, and the other is not. We want to consider the pathophysiology of this bone region through this presentation. Case details. 22-year-old male. He came with a complaint of left dose of swelling and pain. One day before his coming date. He suffered from injury by dropping iron two. And if one was diagnosed at one year old without skeletal region. Status of NF1 is DNB classification stage 2. And x ray showed said metatarsal bone region. We suspected bone fracture or cavity like region at first, so we added a CT scan. Coronal view showed not cavity but dental hollow like region. Actual views showed this region were all covered with cortex and the crack of this fragile region was found. Such a view also showed the same region. And MRI showed a hematoma at circumference of this region. Our treatment strategy was two steps. First step was conservative therapy, and the second step was preventable surgery after enough healing of this fracture site. Surgical method was followed by basic benign bone tumor operation. In addition to it, we performed a microfracture to penetrate the cortex between this region and bone marrow. And we performed systemic X-ray. Before operation to such another region like this, but there was not. Dexter didn't show osteoporosis. Surgical finding. The contents in hollow-like region was crot like tissue. Just as planning, silo curettage. Microfracture and artificial bone grafting were performed. Ample pile of graft was shown on the post-operative X-ray. Histology of this tissue showed an aggregation of Hushman cells, which had concentration difference depending on the site. And hyperophil shows small fibroblast-like cell proliferation with sparse collagen fiber. EMA, alpha SMA, and desmin stain were all negative. On the other hand, CD34 and S100 were positive. Immunologic stain demonstrated a neurogenic tissue, so pathologists suggest that this tissue has the possibility of a plexiform neurofibroma. MIB1 index is 4.3%. Definite diagnosis was neurofibroma with the possibility of a plexiform type. Post-operative two years follow-up, radiographs and clinical examination demonstrated good results. Our consideration contents of overview of NF1 bone features and the speculation of this region. Metabolic feature indicates that osteoporosis is more common in NF1 patients due to lower vitamin D concentration because of infrequent outing and loss of neurofibromin cause and acceleration of it. As to bone pathophysiologic feature, sphenoid wing dysplasia and the skull defect are associated with adjacent plexiform neurofibroma. And progressive dysplastic scoliosis is also associated with adjacent dura rectatia. On the other hand, congenital long bone dysplasia is not associated with adjacent neurofibroma. Well, which type is compatible to our patient's bone region? We think it's probably classified to secondary group because of adjacent neurofibroma. If so, is pathophysiology also similar? To solve it, let's look at the pathophysiology of skull defect. It is occurred as a result of a patent suture, where fibroblast growing factor receptor is upregulated by microenvironment of adjacent neurofibroma. That is, Upregulated FGFR suppress all steps of intramembranous ossification. Finally, it results in suture patency. Well then, does suppression of ossification also work at this patient bone region? And is this bone region ossification site? 
Yes, this site can be compatible to a PPC shrine. If so, this region had been the site of encounter ossification, where XGFR is concerned as with intramembrane ossification. Based on this, we speculated this bone region's pathophysiology. At first, neurofibromas biochemical force create microenvironment and upregulate FGFR in that line. And it leads suppression of cartilage proliferation. Subsequently, physical external force and pressure were exerted on endocortical surface, and it resulted in discortical malformation. From this case, it has been inferred that the site of ossification, including epiphysis rhyme, is associated with bone deformity and defect. Conclusion is like this. Thank you for your attention.